Hello. Then the very short list later, West Coast D five four zero eight zero M. I'm the marquee. Um, Reno, would you please mute your uh, device? Yeah. Thank you, Miss Maxi. Your appearance for the record. Your Honor, Carrie Maxey, bar number 9118, Legal Aid Center in Southern Nevada, on behalf of Slater. And also, Mr. Browers. Good morning, Your Honor. Marcus Browers, bar number 14840, also on behalf of the proposed protected minor, Slater Westlow. And also, Ms. Tavishak. Good morning, Your Honor. Shayla Tavishak, bar number 15343. I am here on behalf of petitioner and paternal grandmother, Rebecca Busho, who's present in my office. Also, counsel, um, let me apologize for um, mispronouncing um, your name. I apologize. I know what you're going to say, but I, I do not mean to be disrespectful. Um, also, joining us is Reno. Reno is the respondent in this case. The petition indicates um, a request for a temp guardian. Um, natural uh, mother and father have a domestic case ongoing. It appears that natural father in that case tested positive for methamphetamine, um, that natural mother has been ordered to uh, take a drug test but has failed to appear. Um, the minor is currently uh, in the custody of the petitioner despite the custody order. Um, the allegation is that there is severe uh, medical neglect and general neglect in that the minor's teeth are rotted uh, to the extent that the minor cannot eat but is on a liquid diet. Um, I know that the child is approximately two years old. Um, the protected minor does not speak um, and is walking with a limp, banging his head against the wall. Neither uh, parent has pursued medical treatment regarding these issues. There were some photos obtained um, or, or provided to the court. Um, first, Mr. Browers and Ms. Maxie, I don't know which one of you um, wants to address first all. Well, let me ask natural mother first. Rena, will you unmute yourself? Do you have any objection to the guardian, the temporary guardianship? Hi. Uh, yes, I just unmuted it. Um, yes, actually, I do object to it. And um, I had my son to the dentist yesterday, and it's actually, it's not rot. It's stains because he was on an iron supplement from being a premature baby. So we had, on, had him on iron supplements, and that's what caused the black stains. And um, he's up, I've always taken him to his checkups and appointments. He's up to date with his vaccinations. Um, yeah, he's not, not medically neglected at all. He's not on a liquid diet. And he's not on a liquid diet. He eats with me. What I think what that might have been is they, you know, my son's been with me my whole life. So when they picked him up, he's not used to them. And so he might have been, you know, just missing me and traumatized. And because he eats just fine with me. He's not on a liquid diet at all. So, Reno, I hear someone else speaking and telling you what to say. Who's that person telling you what to say? Uh, this, this is my mom. Her, uh, her mother. Yeah, mom. That's my mom, no. grandma, to my son. Thank you so much. Reno, your screen's very dark, and so I, I can't see um, who's there no. with you or if anyone's there with you. I, I, it's fine if you want to have um, – dark screen, that, that's okay. I'm just saying that for the record. Reno, um, have you taken that drug test that Judge Gentilly ordered you to take? Yeah, I did take it. I just don't have the $126, so I'm waiting until I get that to pay for it. But I did go down and take it, yes. Okay, and when do you think you're going to have the $126? Um, I'm working on it, uh, hopefully as soon as possible. No, the question is when. Uh, I'm going to try to get it before Christmas. I'm trying um, as hard as I can right now to get it. How are you paying for food and rent if you don't have $126 to take? Uh, well, I, I'm getting Tannis, and then um, my mom and family helps me out, but I've also been looking for work. Because I'm trying to get back into being an ABA therapist because I used to teach kids with autism. So that's now that I have a vehicle again, I can get uh, work. Reno, you're an ABA therapist. Where did you graduate from? Um, 
Well, high school, I graduated from Connections Academy. And then college? And then I did a college at CSN. I did four years. I have my associates. Um, but being an ABA therapist, you don't need a degree. I just, I have my RBT, though. I did training for that. Okay, so in four years, you got your associate's degree at CSN? Yes. And then you did training where to get your certificate as an ABA therapist? Uh, puzzle pieces. I worked for them for about a year and a half. And where did you get your certificate? Uh, through Puzzle Pieces. That's the company that I worked for. Right. How long have you been out of work? Um, I would say about a year. Why have you been out of work for the last year? Um, it's been, well, I've been doing side jobs. Like, I used to babysit here and there. But I'm just trying to get my feet back on the ground, and it's just, it's been hard. Why? Uh, well, it, the main thing was not having a vehicle, but we just got a vehicle. So now that I have the vehicle again, it's easier to, you know, go looking for work or go to find jobs. And that's what was majorly setting me back at first. Can I say something, Your Honor? No. Rena, listen. Oh, right now, I'm trying to ask questions to natural mother. The more that she is unable to I'm ask those here. questions and that your family has to tell you the answers and what to say, the less likely um, I think you are able to answer my questions. Do you understand that? Right, right. That's why I'm telling my mom to stop, because she's not answering for me. These I'm are my answers. You. No, thank you. I don't want to hear it, all right? I will ask your mom her opinion in a moment. Reno, I'm trying to talk to you, and I would like to talk to you uninterrupted. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. The request is for a temporary guardianship. Do you know what that means? Um, no, I don't really. Okay, so temporary guardianship. Temporary means in the meantime, for a little bit, okay? Sounds like you've been having a lot of problems for the last year. Is that fair? Um, I Next. haven't had no problems. Oh, you haven't had any problems. So not having a car, not having a job, all this talk about getting your feet back on the ground, um, and that it's been really but good. I've, I've provided for my son ever since he was born. Um, I've been here and stepped up as the parent. Uh, um, I Reno, Reno, not my question. Please listen to what I'm saying, right? You just spent a lot of time telling me all of the problems you've had in the last year. Those include not having a job, not having a car, right? And that you were trying to get your feet back on the ground. And right now you can't even pay for your drug test, right? You told me that. And it's gonna take you two weeks to raise $126, right? Is that what you're telling me? Um, well, it, it's hard being a single mother, especially after this, you know, the COVID thing. And it, 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 yeah, it's hard. I'm not going to lie and say it's easy. Um, I'm trying the best I can. My son's always been taken care of. He's always been to his appointments. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not a bad mother and neglect my son at all. He's my baby boy. Uh, I've been here for him his entire life. You know, please, I was here. Please focus on what I'm saying, right? Right. But not saying that you're a bad mother. I am not saying that being a mother is easy, all right? I get it. What I'm saying is, I want you to understand what the request is that's pending today. The request is for a temporary guardianship. That means that the petitioner, okay, Rebecca, would temporarily be Slater's guardian so that you could get back up on your feet, get a job, get everything in order, get your drug test paid for. And then when you are back on your feet, that the guardianship would terminate. And then you and um, the father of the child, your custody case would continue. Okay? So I'm not, I'm asking you a question and I'm not taking into consideration all of the, like, whether or not you're a good mother, whether or not your son was with you your whole life, all of those things, okay? I want you to really focus on what the issue is and I wanna ask your opinion. So temporarily, so that you can get back on your feet, 
Are you objecting to or are you consenting to the temporary request for guardian? I'm objecting it. All right. And so you've told me all of those reasons for your objection are because you've always been his mother, um, you've always taken care of him, that he doesn't have any teeth decay, that he's not on a liquid diet, that he does not, and you didn't address this, but they are the most serious allegations about his limp, developmental delays, and the red flags in his developmental delays you haven't spoken to. You did say that he's up to date on his vaccines and he always has been. He's up to date at the dentist and he always has been. Is that what you're telling me today, Reno? Yeah, and um, as, well, as far as developmental delays, well, he was premature. Um, now, the pediatrician has always told me what to look out for, and I would look out for those things. But as far as, you know, he didn't have any issues. Um, it, we have the appointment Monday for his pediatrician, and any time I go, he doesn't have anything of any concern. Um, he, uh, he does tell me with preemie babies, though, so since he was born two months early, that's how you would kind of, I guess, you know, guess where his milestones are at is he would be two months behind than what he was actually born, if that makes sense. But I, I don't, um, I, to me, he doesn't have any developmental delays. Does he walk with a limb? Um, he doesn't, he stands up and uh, he's got, like, we're walking together, but no, there's no limp. Um, I'm Does not he sure. Or Does he bang his head against the wall? Uh, no, not that either. Okay, thank you. Ms. Matt, see, Mr. Brower's natural mother objects. Um, I'm not sure who um, wants to weigh in today. Your Honor, I have had the opportunity to talk to the petitioner and natural mother. Um, my client has a, my client cannot direct me due to his age and also to the fact that he's nonverbal at the age of two, which I believe is concerning to me, not even forming words yet. So there's got to be a reason for that. But in any event, my client has a, a right to be in, um, raised by a person who is fit, either mother who is fit or the petitioner who is also fit. Um, if this is temporary to determine whether or not any medical issues, I, I believe my client needs to be tested for any possible autism, any possible reason for the delays. Mother told me yesterday that he was not walking. Um, so at the age of two and not walking is, is concerning for me. And um, looking at the pictures of, that was provided by the petitioner, for, for the possible dental neglect is concerning. I would like to have medical evidence of, of documentation that it was not neglect, that it was just staining. However, um, I, I haven't been provided with that. So I'm at a loss, Your Honor. I don't know if this court wants to, um, I would defer to the judges to the court's decision for temporary, just to make sure that we can get all the medical um, testing and appointments completed. Uh, I know, um, I don't know if natural mother is able to do this. Mom, when was the last time that a minor child visited the pediatrician? I know you told me of an appointment on Monday. Now tell me the last time. Um, I Pretty sure it was in February of this year, because I think that's right when I had lost my vehicle and then COVID had happened. So if I told you that COVID did not happen until, and when you say happen, so we did not uh, start on mandatory or suggested lockdowns until the middle of March, 2020. Does that help you determine what, when um, he last went to the uh, pediatrician. Um, it was, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it was for sure February of this year. Okay, and what happened at that uh, appointment? Um, he got his shots that he needed for that time, and then um, it was just a regular checkup. Uh, he. Uh, Dr. Reyes didn't give me any concerns to look for or anything like that, just to make the other appointment come back in for his next checkup. 
So you said Dr. Reyes. What group does Dr. Reyes work with? Um, he's the he's his pediatrician at Southwest Medical. At Southwest Medical Center, has he received all of his care at Southwest Medical? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, that. To say that question another way, did he ever receive any care by another doctor other than somebody at Southwest Medical? No, he has not. The only time he would have is when I had him at um, Centennial Hills. But no, yeah, his care has been at Southwest Medical. And you say Centennial Hills, you mean when he was born, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the hospital I had him at. Okay, now... When was the last time he went to the dentist? Um, well, that, his appointment yesterday was the first time taking him to the dentist because I just, I wasn't aware of issues and, and uh, decided to take him in because I realized that, yes, I need to get him checked up. Okay, and which dentist did you go to? A Smile Brief. It's off Ann and Simmons. Say it again, Smile what? A uh, smile reef, um, R E E F. Is that a pediatric dentist? I mean, is that just for kids, or is that a dentist that yes. anyone? Yes, it's just for kids. All right, and what? And did you take him to the dentist because this petition was pending? Um. Well, I wanted to make sure that what you know the what she was trying to say is rot wasn't rot, and it. Because at first I didn't notice it, but then I can realize it was starting to get noticeable. And I was going, yeah, that's not okay. And I'm glad it's not rot. It's the stain from iron supplement, which I have. The dentist sent me something to show that they were making notes that show it's that. But they want me to bring him back in in three months for reevaluation because he's fine, I guess. And he's too young from what the dentist said to do anything right now. Um, Mom, I'm looking to, uh, at your objection. Um, is everything true and correct that you wrote in that objection? Yes, it is, Your Honor. indicate that you were going to bring um, those results uh, of that dentist to, to the hearing. Do you have any paperwork from the dentist? Um, yeah, I got it emailed and um, I was trying to get it in to the doc to send, but I think because we got, we got served yesterday, I didn't have enough time to get it in, but I have the email. Tell me who you're living with. Um, my mom and then my brother and his fiance and then his two babies, so my two nephews. So there's three kids and four adults? Yes. How many rooms? What is it an apartment or a house? It's a townhome. There's uh, one master and then two regular rooms and then just a bathroom. Okay, and so... Your mom's in the master, is that right? Uh, yes. And then your you and uh, the baby are in one room. Yes, that's correct. And then your brother and his fiance and their kids are in another room. No, I get the master. Uh, I live. Well, right, right. They're they're in. I got confused. They're in the master. My mom let them have the master because they have two kids, but then she took one of the side rooms. Okay, is any of the adults who's living in the house working? Yes, my brother does. And, and so does my mom. Deborah, is there anything you want to tell me? You jointly filed this objection. Is there anything okay? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Yes. Reno yes. is a very good mother. And I see no reason for this petition. We're a good family, we're a happy family, and 
she has dealt ever since she's known Brian with um, Rebecca West Show and what have you coming after her. She is trying her best. We've been helping her out. It was hard on her. Uh, she loved Brian, and she wanted I'm to be a man. Hold on. I, w I want you to be clear, Deborah. I, I, I'm not too concerned about the I'm relationship sorry. between mom and dad. And as I told yes, Rita, I'm right. not saying. Hold on. I'm not saying she's a bad parent. I have reviewed the custody action. I've reviewed all the documents in this case. I understand what's going on, okay? I, I see all of that. My question is uh, is about what's going on right now. Is that baby walking or not? Is that baby limping? Is that baby um, banging his feet against the wall? What is going on with the teeth? Um, why are we suddenly going to the dentist as soon as this is filed to address it? We had the pediatrician appointment and the dentist already made. It was just coincidence. So I don't know what happened there. I'll bug her about that when I'm afraid, you know, it's time for him to get in. And you can ask anybody. I'm even on uh, my future daughter-in-law about appointments and, and all that kind of stuff. And we love these children. Slater, my other two grandkids, they okay. are well taken Deborah. care of. Slater. Deborah, Deborah. I know you all love these kids, okay? That's not my question, okay? I'm worried because if he went to the doctor in February and now he's going to the doctor in December, those is strange timing for scheduled well checks. That doesn't add up. The fact that I I called the, he's not, the hold, on, listen, hold on, listen to me. The okay. fact that he is not speaking at two years old is a red flag. He should I have been. with him not speaking. He does. Okay, what does he say? Uh, mama, Dada, yeah, he's, he's speaking said, more and more words and we work with him. Uh, my other grandson, it'll be two in January. And they both talk back and forth. He, and it's just he regular speaks, sounds, I don't, but it's not sentences. I don't what know where it? all this stuff is coming from. Uh, that, that oh. And, I mean, of course, if my son does have, I, I want to know, you know, I want my son to be healthy. And if there is an issue, of course, I want to get that fixed. But I've never, you know, seen one to where it would be alarming. I mean, he, he doesn't do sentences. But then, like I said, his pediatrician has told me that since the, he was born, it's something about where you take, I guess, his reg, how the original due date and then you subtract when he was originally due, and that's where you would go by the milestones because he was a preemie. Um, uh, like, like I said, of course I would want to know if my baby has, you know, a behavioral uh, development Reno. issue so we can correct Reno. it. Reno, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of the development uh, track for premature babies, and so is everyone on this call, okay? That's the third time you've met. Um, when I look at those pictures of those teeth, um, I find it hard to believe that you recently noticed that issue. Or someone who is working with autistic children and tells me they have an ABA certification. Um, I am shocked and surprised that you have not noticed these developmental delays. Um, I am surprised that you would be um, relying upon the doctor's statements that everything is okay. Um, well, I'm she seems okay to me. I'm surprised that you told Ms. Maxi yesterday he's not walking, and then today it's no problem. Well, he, he's not that? walking on his own, though. He needs, he does it with a walker or if I'm, like, holding him, but he's not walking on his own. Well, he's get up not too far. At two years old, he's not walking? Is that an issue? Well, I mean, he not, not on his own. He'll hold on to things, and, like, he'll do it while holding on to things, but he won't do it without the support. Thank you. Um, uh, this is my inclination. Uh, I, I've reviewed the domestic uh, case. Um, I note that mom has been ordered to take a drug test on several occasions. That mom has taken the drug test. Uh, she indicates that the results will not be released because she hasn't paid, so I accept her representation. 
Um, I'm hopeful that we would have those drug test results soon. Today I'm going to appoint an investigator um, to uh, get all of the medical records. I want to see from Dr. Reyes and all the providers at Southwest Medical all of the records. I'm looking specifically, counsel, to the dates of the well checks, whether or not um, our immunizations have been, in fact, up to date. Um, when the appointment for Monday um, was made uh, and the reason why it was made, um, and also review all of the dental um, records. I have some significant concerns. I share those concerns with Ms. Maxey. Those are the red flags and the developmental delays that at two years old we're not walking without assistance. He is cruising, so he's holding on to items of furniture and walkers to assist him in walking. That's a concern. His limited vocabulary, hearing different views of whether or not he says any words, what words those are, how many words, I'm not getting. Um, I hear two words, mama, and I, I haven't heard anything else. Um, it, that's concerning. Um, the behaviors of um, in his head against the wall, certainly um, extraordinarily concerning. That he is, when he is walking um, with assistance or cruising, that he's um, walking with his limp. More importantly than that, there is an issue with these teeth, um, and it is dangerous. Infections um, so close to the brain and other important functions in his mouth um, needs to be dealt with immediately. I was hopeful as um, natural mom and maternal grandmother indicated in their objection that I would receive um, those medical records from the dentist day or before today so that I could review the same. Really important that I would have had that um, to help me make this decision. But right now I have to make a decision about safety. Um, and I understand that uh, he's very young and unable to direct Ms. Maxey and Mr. Broward. Uh, I also, though, I, I, you know, Ms. Tajbash, quite frankly, um, this is a petition for a temporary. It's not a petition, um, and, and I appreciate that uh, that grandmother is treading lightly, that she's not requesting permanent guardianship at this time. Simply a, requesting a temporary guardianship, that the magnitude of the health issues can be um, dealt with. At this juncture, um, it's extraordinarily important that I have these items, that I have um, this medical information. Right now, there is an immediate medical necessity. Understand and accept mom's representation that she has taken this child to the dentist, but quite frankly, I'm concerned um, whether or not that happens. Um, and if mom's representations, that it's due to an iron supplement um, that the child received early on in life uh, are, is the reason for the staining. Um, I'm concerned that it is decay. It is an emerging issue. I, at this time, have no um, documents. I got nothing, nothing from the doctor um, the pediatrician who may have seen this earlier this year in February, um, if the pediatrician had seen this level of decay, the pediatrician would have certainly responded. We would have seen that in the notes. I don't have that from mom. What we do know is that it, dad is, natural father is using methamphetamine. Um, we know that from um, the D case um, and his um, acknowledgement. I don't know. Uh, what's going on with mom. Um, she's not working. She doesn't have a car. There is a lot of people living um, in, in one place. I'm not doubting that she doesn't love her child. That's not what today is about. It's not a, I don't have a measuring stick about love. Um, I have to make a determination. Is there an immediate medical issue? Here there is, okay? I am not satisfied that mom has dealt with it. Um, and mom hasn't given me that. I am going to issue a temporary guardianship 
for 10 days. Um, in that 10 days, I will have, at the end of the 10 days, I'll have another hearing. Um, I'm going to appoint my um, guardianship investigator, and I know this is short time for them, and they're going to come get set. Um, I don't need a written report from the investigator, though. I'll waive um, any requirement that a, a report be filed in writing in 10 days. Um, I'd like an oral report. Um, Ms. Taj Bosch, I'd like your client to immediately address the dental issue um, and immediately address uh, the uh, medical issues in evaluation. I need a doctor um, to see this baby. Um, right. she says she's going to yeah. I do have a question. Uh, and I have a car now. Excuse me, honey. Yeah. Did you say you're going to give the baby to uh, Rebecca? I Wait, have a on, car I now. It, it, I have paper that shows it's not rot. It's not decay. I made sure to get that from the dentist. It's black. And the doctor's appointment was made before any of this came up. <laughs> like... And they said every six months, which isn't too far off. Like, I love being a mother. I wouldn't neglect my baby like that at all. Reno can uh, not guarantee, and my son and my other two sons and his aunts and uncles, that he will go to the doctor it's and been, get his teeth everything done. But I, it show, I have paper from the dentist. It's not, it's not decay. She Thank spoils you. that. <laughs> I take mean. very good care of him. Thank you, Reno, Reno and Deborah. I, I appreciate your, I, this is a difficult decision and I don't take it lightly. Why and are I'm, you making that decision? Well, what I, about him though? He's been used to me. You can't just pull a baby away from his family and his mother. He doesn't know Rebecca and them. And that's not through Reno's fault. That's because they never <laughs> like asked the, to visit him. The last time I let his this dad is not him. right. He cashed a fake two thousand dollar check and me and yeah, my Yeah, and son. ran and left her and the baby in. in. I, like, this I, is not right. I tried. I tried, <laughs> and they, they, him and his mom have come after me. I what? have messages when I was barely a month pregnant of her threatening to sue for custody of to get my son, and I wasn't even a month pregnant. She's always come after me, and I just I can prove that it's not decay. I have the letter from the dentist. I don't know why that didn't get sent in. Things are being said right. Thank you. So, so we are applying for a lawyer through financial aid as well. And so we I don't see what Rebecca is going to do any different than what we can do. Sure. Reno and Deborah, I told you all the reasons I made um, my order. I've made my decision. Um, I'm not going to... Uh, argue about it now. I, I gave you an opportunity to tell me everything you wanted. I had some real pointed questions at the beginning because I knew exactly uh, the questions I had. Um, I if can't you hear you that well either. If you, so. if you continue to yeah. interrupt, I'm going to ask them in the courtroom to mute you. All right, Ms. Tajvash, you had a question? I did, Your Honor. Thank you. Um, because of the, the domestic custody orders, um, after we filed the petition a few days later, the child was returned back to mom. I would just ask, what time should she pick him up today? Reno, what time works best for you? Any time. Okay. What time is best? What time would you prefer? Uh, let's, let's do Make like three, four. Make it later on tonight. Three o'clock? Four o'clock? Five o'clock? Yeah. Uh, let's do three o'clock. Five o'clock? That works. Okay. So let's uh, do... No Let's do 4 p.m. That was what you initially said. So 4 p.m. today, December 11th. Um, Reno uh, suggests that that's the, the best time for pickup. I'm going to order every first. I, I'm going to copy this order, um, Ms. Tajbosh, so that it's served on Judge Chantilly, that she's aware that I've taken emergency jurisdiction. Um, I believe that there is the jurisdiction certainly is appropriate because the child's been here um, for six months. That, that's been alleged in the domestic case. Um, there are proceedings. I know that Judge Gentile is waiting on that drug test result. Um, Dad is currently on supervised visitation. That's the order. There is not a final order. Um, the temporary order issued by Judge Gentile is pending the results of Mom's drug test. Um, because we don't have that, there is not an official order. Um, I think that emergency jurisdiction is appropriate. There is an indication from Judge Gentile that dad should not have unsupervised visitation due to his methamphetamine use. Um, we don't know yet. Uh, there's been allegations that mom 
is uh, utilizing methamphetamine as well. Um, and so the only way that can be determined is through that test. She's been giving multiple orders to take that test by Judge Gentile. Um, she's just recently taken that test and we're pending results. So emergency jurisdiction is appropriate pending yeah. um, medical issue um, that is serious to the court. Um, the allegations of developmental delays and that the doctor's response seems strange. Um, 10 days, I think, is sufficient um, for the petitioner to uh, get in to see uh, both a dentist and a pediatrician. Um, the temporary order, Ms. Tajbash, could indicate the same, that um, the temporary guardian specific authority to seek medical treatment, including but not limited to a um, dental evaluation um, and cleaning x-rays, um, and that um, any recommendation, Ms. Tajbash, regarding extractions or anything um, else beyond the evaluation, I would like you to bring back in the 10 days and then I'll make a determination. So I am not going to allow today through this order extractions or general anesthesia. Um, Ms. Tajbash, if it's an emergency, you can file an order shortening time and I'll rehear it really quick. Um, yes. if an extraction or general anesthesia is warranted. And she may um, visit a pediatrician and um, get an initial evaluation. And um, I will certainly, in 10 days, review all the uh, records from Southwest Medical as well as Smile Reef. Um, Reno, my investigators may have a real difficult time getting those records in the next 10 days. So it's incumbent upon you to provide the court um, and file those dental records and the pediatrician records. I would, it would be something that I would really rely on, all right? No, yeah, I'll, I'll provide whatever. I, I don't care what to provide. Like, that's the whole point is I'm trying to prove the allegations are true. Also, Ms. Tajbash, you may also um, request a civil standby. But my order is that everyone today behave as adults, okay? This um, transfer is going to happen at 4 p.m. today, okay? If and any, she'll have them for 10 days? 10 days until the next hearing, and just for 10 days. That's about a week, okay? And then I will okay, make can you another decision. Can go to his appointment on Monday? Please listen, I will make a different decision and reevaluate everything in about a week and days when I have an opportunity to review all the documents. Okay? Ms. Tajbash, do you need further direction today? Um, the only thing we're asking for is that they also turn over the child's insurance card. Um, that, my client doesn't have that, so. You know, do you have an insurance card for the minor child? Yes, of course. Okay, so what I would like you to do is take a picture of it on your telephone before 4 o'clock today, the front and the back of it, okay? And text message it to the petitioner, okay? To Rebecca. Okay? okay? And I need you okay. to do that before 4 o'clock, okay? Just text message it to her, picture of the front and a picture of the back, all right? Okay. Thank you. Ms. Tajbash, anything else? Uh, no, Your Honor, I think that covers it. Thank you. All right. Counsel, um, ask Rebecca to raise her right hand. We'll administer the oath of guardian. Do you solemnly, oh, yeah. do you solemnly uh -huh. affirm that you will well and faithfully perform the duties of guardian according to law? That you will file all reports at least annually and when ordered by the court? That any matter stated in any petition, document, or court proceedings are true of your own knowledge? Or if any matters are stated on information or belief, that you believe them to be true. I do. Thank you. Ms. Tajbash, you may submit the order for temporary guardianship to my office. At the same time, I'd ask you to submit the guardian's acknowledgement of duties form. Have that acknowledgement of duties form. My clerks will issue letters of guardian. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. So don't notify us when the 10 days is up. 